Hey guys, what's up? Um, I was requested to do a uh, tutorial video on um, putting um, new mesh um, on the T-Jack lenses for the face shell. Um, you can see visibility through here is pretty awesome. Um, so, um, yeah, there you go. You can see pretty good. So it, the gauge on the holes is a little bit bigger, but it's still, it's pretty good. So anyway, um, quick tutorial. Um, if you don't have a spare set of domes, then you'll have to contact T-Jack to get some extra ones. Or if you know how to vacuum form um, ABS plastic, then you can do that yourself. Um, there's a little bit of glue on here I'm trying to get off. This was a previous dome that I had used and messed up, but uh, for a different project. But yeah, so anyway, um, what you'll need is uh, two domes, one left, one right. Right now I only have uh, this one here, which is would be uh, the left. So um, I am going to work with this. And also you need, this is a fly eye mesh. Um, it is decal paper for like car headlights and stuff like that. Let's see if I can get the damn stuff off. Uh, one side's black and it's a sticky, it's not super sticky, but it's sticky enough to, you know, kind of help you out when you're trying to adhere it to something like a, a plastic or glass surface. So um, I usually cut out a piece about this big to compare it to the lens. About that. Um, so I sit the lens down. You'll also need either a heat gun like this one or a hair dryer of some sort. Um, so basically, you set this down right here in the center and you peel apart this mesh here. Um, you can get this on eBay. I'll put a link below the video to where you can get this mesh. Um, and basically, you take it and you just rest it on top of the dome just like this and somewhat stick it to the side of the surface that you're working on just to kind of keep it straight. Um, this can be somewhat of a delicate process right here because it can become bunched up and if you apply too much heat to this stuff it can melt or, or uh, bunch up. Um, or like kind of stick together so you want to give it a quick heat blast so I'm going to try and do this um, as best I can um, if I don't get it perfect you'll still get the gist of it so basically you just do a quick heat blast on your finger down up there but it's okay. Have a little bit of time to save it. And this stuff it uh, peels off fairly easily if you need to redo it so uh, you'll have to use a new piece of mesh but the roll um, that they send you when you order this stuff is a uh, pretty decent sized roll projects of this nature so yeah and that's it so it's pretty much done just make sure everything is adhered to the bottom or to the dome itself and make sure everything is nice and pressed down on that and let it sit for a minute uh, blow on it blow on it a little bit it'll uh, help it um, cool and keep its form and then I take an exacto knife and I basically just cut around I just follow the line um, the edge of the uh, the dome itself and let's see here there we go okay whatever excess pieces are off on the edges you can just cut them down 
as you see fit. And there you go. That is your uh, new dome. This one's not like super perfect because I didn't, you know, take the time to really get into it and focus when I'm trying to do a video, but I'm just trying to give you the the gist of, you know, what is supposed to be done. And you end up with this right here. So, um, that's pretty much it. And when you're done, obviously you can see that it works out very nicely on your show. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching. And uh, anything that I can do to help any of you here um, with anything that I come up with, new ideas or, um, you know, just things that make these suits any better, um, I will post. So, uh, all right, guys. I will talk to you later. See ya.